Hi, Pisces. I'm Pam, the Lucky Mermaid, Psychic Seer, and Modern Mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for September 2022. Please be sure to watch your sun sign, your rising sign, and your moon sign to get a more clear and complete picture of what's to come for you in September and perhaps beyond because timing will be different for all of you in these general readings. Remember, sometimes your rising sign and your moon sign will resonate more for you than your sun sign. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign, some months your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from there. So you might want to check that out. This recording is for Pisces Sun, Pisces Rising, and Pisces Moon. I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot Deck in this reading. All that being said, Pisces, now on to your September 2022 Psychic Tarot Reading. The first card you have, Pisces, is the Four of Rods. And this is attending a wedding, throwing a wedding. It could be success in springtime. It could also be attending a celebration of some sort. Or it could be something to do with your marriage if you are married. I feel that many Pisces are bringing about change in their love life. You may be starting to go to places, gravitating to new places to go and gravitating toward new people. You may even feel like uh, you want to fix yourself up. You may want to lose weight or change your hair color or hairstyle or your clothes or, I don't know, get uh, like facials or do things, whatever to you would give you a ego boost and more confidence or feel like you were fixing yourself up in some way. Some of you could get invited to attend a wedding. It could be a wedding for a friend of yours or some kind of celebration or gathering for a friend. And you could meet up with someone there. You could make a connection with somebody that then you could start dating. And if it's not at a wedding, it could be some other type of gathering. Some of you may be throwing a wedding for your uh, daughter or, you know, maybe your parents, one of your parents is getting remarried. Um, you could be throwing your own wedding. I get some of you or a, a party throwing some like really nice event. I feel that's coming up here for some of you Pisces. It feels to me like some of you Pisces need to get something back on track. Um, and it could be a love relationship you're already in. You may feel like you need to get it back on track. Uh, or maybe your love life is not on track, whether you're with somebody or not with somebody. And you may feel like uh, you need to get your love life back on track. Or it could be something about you. Like maybe you feel like your diet's not on track or... Uh, you know, your health. Maybe you feel like you need to get your health back on track. If you're looking to buy a home, I feel that you're going to find one soon. I don't know that you find it in September. For some of you, it could be, but I feel that would be the latter part of the month, like from the 24th on of September. But some of you are finding a new home or some of you are going to be talking to somebody that can help you renovate your home that you're in you may be talking to uh, an interior designer a contractor um, an architect or a variety of people in relation to renovating your home so the next card you have in your reading pisces for september 2022 is uh temperance, which can indicate needing patience or having patience. This card can also be symbolic of alchemy, where God is working through you in what you're doing, thinking, creating, and saying. So you could be kind of like an alchemist in uh, the month of September. 
some of you are watching things that you're doing turn to gold, seriously. Like if you've been writing or creating projects or doing schoolwork or whatever you're doing um, or, you know, creating things that you can turn around and then sell, whether it's art or music or uh, doesn't have to be in those areas, but something you're creating, it, it, it's going to turn to gold. It's going to do well for you. So you, I feel like you're creating it in September. You're working on it in September. Uh, some of you may actually be putting it out there to the world for sale in September or this, whatever you're working on turning to gold. Uh, I do feel for many of you, it is actually happening this month. Some of you may find out that you have to take on more work at work. Like your bosses may say, we're giving you more work to do. You know, maybe somebody's on maternity leave or vacation or they're retiring or they're just downsizing and they're not hiring new people. And then that person's work gets dispersed throughout to other employees. Uh, so I feel that some of you Pisces are going to find out that you have to have more, that more work is coming your way to do. Uh, so this could require you to be patient with that. And make sure you're doing a lot of listening. Listen very carefully to what people are saying to you in September. I feel like it's important. Don't like jump ahead or rush ahead or be, or like if you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I hear what you're saying. I get it. I get it. That's not the thing to do in September, Pisces, for you. You need to make sure you're listening very carefully to what people are saying to you, what directions you're get, being given, um, I don't care who's talking to you, whether it's a love partner, a boss, a teacher, a mentor, a parent, I don't care who it is. Um, don't blow off what people are saying. Really take the time to listen carefully. I do feel that there's some kind of relief for Pisces, that you're going to feel like something is finally going your way. It may be something that you feel like, I never thought it was going to go my way ever. You may have thought, you know, or maybe you've been waiting a really long time for something to go in a particular way that you want. And I feel it's happening for you this month. Some of you are going to make changes to your diet and exercise programs. Yeah, I see you making changes. You could be adding new, uh, I feel like it's things to boost your health. Uh, I feel like it's healthy eating or drinking, things that you're eating or drinking that are going to give you more energy, make you feel more invigorated. Maybe even if you want to lose weight, they could involve weight loss for some of you. So the card you have crowning your reading, this was a little weird. You have some good cards, but you got some uh, questionable ones here mixed in. Uh, you have the five of cups, and this is sadness, loss, and regret. But not all hope is lost because there are still two cups upright behind the person in this card. So even though you may feel like, you know, there's sadness, loss, and regret, there's still hope. Sometimes when this card shows up, it can indicate somebody's drinking too much. It could be you. It could be somebody connected to you. Some of you may feel upset or depressed that you may have forgotten how to do something. Maybe something you did. Maybe you used to play the drums and the guitar and the piano and, and you go back to try to do it or the violin or whatever or something else, some language you learned or something you used to be really good at and now you've forgotten how to do it. And you could feel like regretful over that, that you didn't keep up with it and that you forgot. Some of you may be concerned that you're worrying too much. I feel that you, it's weird. It's like you have regret of over worrying. Uh, like you're worried about worrying. It, it's uh, not, I'm not making a joke out of it because depression is something that people really need 
to pay attention to. A lot of people blow that off. People's mental health and emotional health is extremely important and it's been very precarious during these recent times, especially since 2019 through now. Um, so it's like you could feel like you've, uh, you're worrying or you're worried or concerned that you're depressed and worrying. You could have to stand up for yourself against any kind of abusive comments that could be coming to you through family members. Family members could be saying things that are hurtful to you or have hurt your feelings. If they're not doing it in September, they may have said it to you in the past and you're thinking about it now. You're feeling bad about it. It may have already happened. It may have happened to you in August or, or, or at, uh, even long time ago. But you may be uh, thinking about it and feeling badly about it, or it could be making you feel depressed in September. Something could trigger it. Even if it happened a long time ago, sometimes there's a trigger that makes you go back and it's like you relive it. It could be that kind of energy here for you, Pisces. You may also have made some kind of mistake you can't fix. Uh, this could be at work. It could be at your job. But it could be with, a, you know, something you said or did with a friend or family member or loved one. You could have made some kind of mistake and you feel like there's no, you can't, you know, the old saying, you can't unring a bell. Like you may not be able to fix this mistake. And you may be concerned because you want people to have faith in you or believe in you or trust you. You don't want people that either bosses or your loved ones to feel like they can't rely on you or count on you. The next card you have in your reading is the Queen of Cups, and this is a fire sign person, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. For some of you Pisces, this is you. If you have a rising sign or a moon sign, that's a fire sign, or if you're born on the cusp of Pisces and Aries. To get more psychic messages and predictions from my spirit guides, please check the description box below this video for the links for my most recent videos for Vimeo. I look into very specific topics using a variety of divination tools to bring you more accurate predictions for your astrological signs. These links and descriptions are also available on the videos page of my website, www.theluckymermaid.com. Thank you. There could be a great deal of stress coming from this Queen of Rods fire sign person or this or about them. So stress could be coming from this fire sign or stress could be swirling around this fire sign. I feel like they're ratcheting things up a notch. Like if they're like, if they're a boss, they're making you do more work. If or, and, or if it's a love partner or a family member, they could be expecting more out of you. But I also feel their temper is ratcheting up in September. They could be prone to like, uh, like being angry. They may feel like uh, they're working too much they may feel like they're tired of holding down the fort, like they can't ever catch a break. They're always on the go. They're always working so much. They're working so hard. They can't catch a break. This could be one of your parents. This could even be you. Like I said, this could be your rising sign, moon sign, or cusp sign. fire sign person may feel like they've, they are taking on more than they can handle, either with work or life may feel like it's more than they can handle. Things may feel like they're overwhelming to them, like it's just too much. You may feel like they're a little off balance or out of control. That's maybe how you look at them, like they're kind of out of control. They may be very demanding to you. 
They may be like, fix this, take care of that, help me do this, I need you to do that. They may be looking to you to uh, solve their issues, solve their problems, help them out, do things for them that they may feel too overwhelmed to take care of. So they, they may be looking for things from you. This could be a boss, it could be a parent, it could be a love partner. I, I don't know. It's going to be different for all of you. This could also be somebody you know that is specializing in something or going to take some kind of training or classes in something. And they could be the same people. It could be a boss. It could be your significant other. It could be a parent. Uh, so when the people cards come up, it's not going to be the same thing for everyone. So this could also be somebody you're connected to that is like, buckling down to get to work, to take some kind of training program, classes, education. Maybe they're starting a new job and they have to go through like training, on the job training. Uh, that kind of thing comes up also around the Queen of Rods. So the uh, fifth card you have in your reading from the Rainbow Tower spread for September is the Five of Pentacles. So here you had two fives in your reading. To me, fives always indicate like conflict of some sort. It's not smooth going in the tarot with fives usually. And Five of Pentacles could be financially feeling bankrupt, emotionally feeling bankrupt. It could also indicate uh, feeling depressed. It could be you feeling depressed. It could be two people feeling depressed. And remember, feeling depressed also came up in the Five of uh, Cups card for you. So we'll see what this is. There could be, you could be worried about money, but money could be available and you're just not looking at it or focusing on it or paying attention to it. You could feel like you need to make more money. Uh, some of you may feel like competition in, out in the workplace uh, is stiff, even at a job you already work at or uh, if you're trying to get a new job. There could be things that you want to get that you can't get right now. This could be because of lack of funds or that the items or things you need to get are not available or they are too expensive. I do feel like you're putting yourself out there and you're doing the best that you can and you are spending a lot of time and energy doing your research. You may feel like you're struggling to uphold family values or struggling to uphold family uh, income and situations. You may feel like you're struggling in that area. You could be holding on to some things about concerns or worry about money that you may not be letting on to family members or other people about. You may be keeping your cards close to your vest about, you know, financial difficulties or financial concerns or worries. Um, there could be a drop in your investments could be causing you uh, stress and worry in September. You may feel that you need to sell some things, maybe to pay for mortgages, rent, schooling, school loans. I don't know what, but I see some of you Pisces feeling like this squeeze, the financial squeeze, and this could be causing you to feel stress, pressure, depressed, and also make you feel like you need to sell things. Maybe you have collections or technology that you're like, okay, I'm this stuff is just sitting here. I'm not using it enough. I need to have more cash flow. So you may want to sell some things. So the best gemstone crystal I got for Pisces to work with, use, or wear in the month of September 2022 is Amazonite. An Amazonite is a stone of truth, hope, and flow. It brings clarity and calm. It dispels negative energy and can protect you from EMFs. It has great healing abilities and it's associated with luck and overall success and money. So, wow, 
that came up as a theme here for you of needing more money or wanting more money in your reading at different points. So, and just about other things this information already had to say about Amazonite, I can see why this would be a good gemstone crystal for you to work with, use, or wear in the month of September. It's going to make you, give you a very pleasant demeanor, a very pleasant attitude, an upbeat demeanor. This will be good for you if you have to deal with other people at your job, bosses, going on job interviews, any clients or customers. It's also a good stone that's going to help open your mind to see the positive side of things and how you can turn things around, which I believe did come up in your reading. If you have any problems with your legs, ankles, knees, shins, thighs, hips, any area of your legs, this stone is going to, like if you have arthritis or any pains or you've hurt, him, it hurt them in some way, uh, this will help you with your legs. It's going to help. I don't understand how. It's just what my guides are bringing up here. It's going to help you nurture yourself, look after yourself, and take better care of yourself. It's also going to help you uh, in your dealings with others, how you treat other people. So it's not only like self-care and looking after yourself. It's going to help you be more positive in treating other people better as well. So I hope this reading was of help to you, and I hope it made sense. Thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And please like this video if you enjoyed it. And please subscribe if you would like to see more content like this and to help my channel grow. And if you would like to get any of the special video series I record for my Vimeo On Demand pages, where I use a variety of divination tools focusing on very specific topics, you can get my most recently recorded videos by clicking on the links down below this video in the description box in the show more section. And there's, there's many links down there, or you can go to my website at theluckymermaid.com, go to the videos page on my menu, and you can scroll down that page. You can see all the video series I've recorded, what divination tools I've used, how long the predictions go out for. And then you just click on the zodiac sign you want, and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. Now, some of the most recent video series I've recorded, of course, are my psychic crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac for September 2022, where when I stop the video, I then go on and look into the crystal and give you more psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for this month of September. You can also get August video. That link will be down below as well because timing is different for everyone. And so just because it was August's videos, you may be experiencing it later. You may be experienced by August predictions in September or October or even a year from now. So if you didn't get that, you could check that out. My horseshoe tarot spread psychic tarot reading for the year of 2022, 2023, which goes from August of 2022 through until the end of August of 2023. Uh, there are how many cards? Seven cards in those videos and very, uh, very detailed. They're kind of long. So if you want to see what I got for you there, that's actually one of the most popular video series I record. Um, people don't request it. It's not a highly requested video series, but it's a very popular purchased series. My mid-year love and romance psychic tarot update for 2022 is also available. And my psychic uh, crystal readings that I talked about for September and also you could check out August. My career and finance psychic tarot and crystal readings, those predictions are for 12 to 18 months 
and they started in April of 2022, and they go all the way through until the end of October of 2023. So if you want to see what's going on with your career and your finance area, you might want to check that out. My what's lucky and new for you in 2022, Psychic Tarot and Oracle card readings. We're still got a lot of time left in 2022, so your luck hasn't run out yet. So if you want to see what was lucky and new for you, you could look into those videos. And my mid-year Psychic Tarot update for 2022 is also available. My Saturn in Aquarius Psychic Tarot and Crystal Readings they started in December of 2020. These predictions start from December of 2020 and go through until the end of March of 2023. Uh, Saturn usually spends about two and a half years in each sign. My full moon lunar eclipse in Scorpio, May 2022, Psychic Tarot, Crystal, and Oracle card readings. Those predictions, you're still being affected by that eclipse. Those effects are not over yet. And also my solar eclipse in Taurus, April 2022, Psychic Tarot, Crystal, and Oracle card readings. Those effects, <clears throat> excuse me, those effects of those eclipses, they last six months. So those two eclipse video series, you are still being affected by that lunar eclipse in Scorpio in May and the solar eclipse in Taurus in April. I use the same format for each. I highly recommend in these videos if you can watch your rising sign as well as your sun sign to get a more clear and complete picture of what's to come for you. And many people find these eclipse readings are accurate for them. And if you think these eclipses are not affecting you, you're wrong. They completely are. So you might want to look into those videos. Um, also, if you would like to donate to my channel and help support the work that I do here with my psychic readings on YouTube, there's a donation link down below underneath all the video series I've talked about, and that link is connected to PayPal. And thank you so very much to those of you who have donated to my channel. It does mean a lot to me, and it does help me a lot. I do greatly appreciate it. So a big thank you to those of you who have donated. Also, if you would like to get more psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides that you're not going to see here in a video on YouTube, you can follow me on my social media pages at The Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook and The Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgel on Instagram and also on the community pages of that are here on YouTube. I usually write these predictions out in about five paragraphs, uh, I pull, usually pull a tarot card, sometimes an oracle card, occasionally my crystal. I'll write these predictions down, and many people find that these predictions, maybe the whole entire reading makes sense to them, or parts of messages and predictions throughout will make sense to them. So I highly recommend you check those out, and I would love to see you over there on my social media pages. And as I've said before, I'm going to say it here again, make sure you are following the true the lucky mermaid underscore Pam Georgel on Instagram. Sometimes they put a little dot after the underscore, and it fakes people out. I am not contacting anybody on social media soliciting them for readings. I work from a very long wait list and a very long cancellations list. If you want those details, please go to my website at the Lucky Mermaid LLC. I'm sorry, theluckymermaid.com and go to the scheduling page. You can read all about how to get on the cancellations list, the, can the, uh, the uh, wait list I closed in 2018 because I had too many people on it. I'm still adding people to the cancellations list. I can only do a few private readings a month. I used to do three readings a day, five days a week, uh, a couple weeks out of each month. I can no longer do that anymore uh, for a variety of reasons. So if you want to get on the cancellations list, you can look at how to do that. But I'm going to tell you, it's going to be a long, long wait. I don't want people to think they're going to get on it and you're going to hear from me in a month. 
it's not going to happen that way. So, uh, but please do not fall for anybody soliciting you for readings on social media. I don't have WhatsApp. Uh, people are even doing it in the comments section in, video, in the YouTube videos where they're trying to act like they're me. I've had to report this. Please know I'm not contacting you. If you get something from me, it's only if you're on my wait list or cancellations list. Otherwise, it's a fake. And do not give them money. I have seen people do that where they've paid and not gotten anything. It is a scam. Please don't fall for it. So I hope you have an absolutely spectacular September, all the signs of the Zodiac. And know that I wish you many blessings and peace.